Hello. Quite often, I get queries from all over the world using Proteus for certain power electronic circuits. Here is an example which I just received from one of the students which has got several mistakes. I wanted to highlight those mistakes so that people or students who are trying the circuits take care accordingly. For example, here what he has done, he has taken a switch which supply and directly connected to the LED of the opto isolator. And in this case, the opto isolator LED will fail because there is no protective resistance, series resistance put to the opto isolator LED. Number two, the track. If you take a standard track, it perhaps would not work as far as the Proteus is concerned because the standard tracks are to be designed for the current requirement which is to be fed to the gate. So what we have to do, we have to select a appropriate track which we'll see in the next circuit then the supply we give you can't take the v sign uh, power source here you have to take an alternator source here then the load also the voltage rating of the load has to be for example the voltage rating of this load voltage rating of this load is 12 volt whereas the supply voltage is 230 volts it is a great mismatch that but has been done here as far the mist. So these are the several mistakes. Plus there is no ground reference. Here he has taken some voltage probes here, 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 and there is no ground reference. All the voltage probes need certain ground reference, and there is no ground reference given to the circuit. That is how the circuit doesn't work. Now we will see how to go for a real circuit after we modify this. Let's look at this circuit. What we have done here, we have taken instead of voltage probes, we have taken voltmeters, both across the supply and also across the load. And we have taken a ground reference here so that everything is connected across the ground reference. Even the oscilloscope is also connected to this point, which also works with ground reference. Of course, this, this ground and this ground can be separate need not be the same ground but that's why the simulation is concerned we are showing it same ground this ground can be separated because the dc ground and instead of a switch we have taken a logical input it can be zero or it can be one so these are the differences that we have made and then if you look at the uh, alternator we have taken 320 volt this is the peak voltage of the rms value rms value of about 225 volts so when we simulate this we will be delivering rms value of over 225 volts so first of all you have to take an alternator with peak value and not the rms value as you feel like as you think like and uh, the load also has to be selected accordingly the load has to be selected for the rms value not for the peak value and the value of the load has to be appropriately changed instead of some 20 ohms or some 40 ohms one has to make it little higher ohms then the oscilloscope is having a ground reference we can see and of course the rest of all things the most important is the track and the track what you have seen here we have taken a track of if you take uh, q 504l3 if you look at this at 43 which we had seen is uh, about 25 milliampere gate current we have selected a 43 somewhere here and we have taken a 25 milliampere gate current because that is what is the requirement the gate current is more important rather than the voltage as far as the simulation is concerned here so that is how this has to work with this and then moreover the track that you select should be tecor type any other type you select it may have difficulty in simulation and now while we simulate this and that is what we have given those informations here there were several mistakes in that earlier circuit so they could not have done it so i have done it and now when we try to operate this what we find we find the voltage waveform is perfectly coming output voltage waveform and when we make it logic zero it goes to zero yellow is the only channel which you have connected and you can see the output voltage the output voltage is the alternator voltage is 226 volts against the peak voltage what we had seen of 320 volts supplied by the alternator and the load voltage is nearly zero here and while we make the logic one here and we find the load voltage is 224 volts this is how the simulation has to be taken care as far as proteus is concerned if you like it please subscribe thank you